Welcome to PLZ Soccer's fixture preview. We've only got one fixture to preview, Tam. It's Scotland against Republic of Ireland. Let's just talk about them against <coughs> Ukraine first. How impressed were you with that performance? Oh, I thought it was one of the best performances I've seen from Scotland in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, the Denmark game was only one other one I can think of under Stevie Clark that I think would have been more impressive. But from start to finish, we were the better team. Ukraine are really good. They're yeah. a good side. They don't lose many games. and. We, we just steamrolled them and we totally deserved to win. 3 nothing. I think, was, was the right result. Could have been 4 or 5 against a real quality outfit. Who were you impressed by, Rafi? Yeah, I was impressed by him again. I was impressed by all the forward players. Uh, still not too sure about Shea Adams. You know, I don't think he's a goal scorer at that level. Not convinced yet? No, but uh, the good thing about it is we've now got players coming off the bench and contributing. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big, big thing. Something we've, we've never had before, you know, and... Uh, but I just think we, we went about it the right way. We went about it to win the game. As I was saying to Peter the other day, you know, we, we never went out to be hard to beat. Mm -hmm. No, we actually went out to try and win the game and, and we got the just rewards. Well, he changed his shape, didn't he? He went from a 5-4-1 to a 4-2-3-1. Has that been a big factor in that win Wednesday? I don't think so. I think no. it's the players you select, you know, and what they do. They go about and... And, and do their job, you know. I mean, we know you, Ukraine aren't the big, big goal scorers, you know. They, I mean, they only scored two against the last time, but they don't tend to score anymore. They tend to sit in and try and hit you in the uh -huh. break, and if they get a goal, then they make it hard to, to, to beat them. But we got the goal, you know, that meant they had to do something, and we just kept attacking and kept getting goals. I think the key, the key for me was playing Jack Henry. Um, I think that his pace at the back allowed us to squeeze the game mm -hmm. in our 10, 15 yards. It's huge. I looked at the, the, the lineup from the last game and it was, I think, Cooper played with McKenna and we sat deep because none of them, none of them have got pace. They didn't know what to get done over the top. And Henry, I thought he was outstanding on the night. I thought he had a great game, but his pace eh, alongside McKenna just allowed us to squeeze up 10, 15 yards and get closer to the midfield. The midfield could get closer to Adams and I just think that contributed to the performance. So would you stick with that team then going into Saturday? Obviously, Patterson's not going to be a part of it, but would you go with that team then? Yeah, I don't think anybody deserves to get dropped. I think that everybody played well. Um, I would, if, you know, obviously Patterson's out, but if the rest of them are fit, I'd go the game with the same team and, and have a right go to Ireland again. Is that a big uh, a big blow for Patterson not to be in the squad? Or because the likes of Hickey and Ralston are there, is it an easy fix? Yeah, no, it's an easy fix. I think <laughs> Hickey came on and did OK. Uh, but I think we all wanted to see what Patterson could do. He got into the, the Everton team now, you know, he's looking good and, and that can only be good for us. So it's a shame he's got the injury. We don't know how long he's out for yet, uh, but no, Hickey, not Hickey's serious. fine. Yep, there we go then. Moving on to Ireland, is that the toughest opponent, do you think, in the group for Scotland? <sighs> Certainly the last performance in Dublin. Yep. Uh, I think that was uh, by far the worst performance under Steve Clark. But I think the players will be will be hurting by that. I think that will still be in the back of their mind, that performance and that result. Uh, I know Stephen Kenny very well, played under him twice, spoke to him during the week. I know he's feeling a bit of a of a backlash from Scotland. He knows that the Scotland will be waiting for Ireland eh, at Hamden. And eh, the first 20, 25 minutes are going to be crucial for them. But I think we've got so much more to play for. I think Ireland, are, they can't win the group really. And eh, they're just coming to play for pride. But we've got a great chance to top the group. And eh, but, but we've got to beat Ireland. Give us a wee insight then. What was he saying during the week? I think he's, listen, he's aware that Scotland are an excellent team. I mm -hmm. think player for player, eh, Scotland are a better team. Um, but it doesn't always work like that. You know, we've seen that in Dublin. Mm -hmm. you know, Ireland deservedly won 3 nothing. We were poor, but Ireland played really well. Stephen's slowly but surely eh, you know, getting a squad together that's, that's pretty strong and defensively they're strong. But eh, I think if we go and play the way we played against Ukraine, we get after Ireland daily doors, then I think we're, we're well capable of winning. We've got home advantage this time, Ruffy. Can we redeem that? 3-0 defeat that we suffered in Dublin. Yeah, if we go about the way we d did the other night, you know, I, I know it took us a wee while to get the first goal, mm -hmm. uh, but obviously the set pieces we seem to be okay at, you know, but I think this is a different game for you, Ukraine. This is more like a British style game, mm -hmm. you know, Republic of Ireland, they've got British players, you know, they'll play, I think they'll be in about as more, you know, I, I don't think they'll, they'll stand off, Aye. you know, they'll, they'll be more aggressive and, and we'll have to adapt to that. Scotland, just looking at their last starting 11s between the two of them, Scotland had eight Premier League starting. Ireland just had three. Should Scotland be beating them, Tim? When you look at the quality of the players. As I say, I think player for player, but we're, we're stronger. But you've got to prove, prove it on the pitch. And as I said, Stephen's a very attacking coach. He's not going to come and play 4-5-1. No chance. He'll play 4-3-3. Three, three. Right. That's the Ireland play. And they'll come and have a go at Scotland. And I expect... I expect plenty of tackles, but I also expect plenty of uh, you know action at both ends. Right. Well, whilst we're on the topic of Scotland, roughly 53 appearances for Scotland, what's been your favourite memory? 
favourite memory is, I think, playing against Brazil twice. Right. Uh, I think anybody who you get a chance to go in the park with the, the likes of the players that they've had, it's a tremendous occasion. Uh, so I would say individually the Brazil games, yeah. Tam, you get any favourite memories? <laughs> I never played for the full squad, but obviously I played for the B squad, and that was a great honour for me. And I played the Scotland in the 21. So, yeah. listen, whenever you you play, you're capped at any level for Scotland. You know, when that national anthem comes on, you know it's it's a proud moment. Uh, does it give you a bit of a buzz that when you hear the oh, pipes going? Oh, it does. Going? No, no doubt about it. Uh, and probably the, the under 18s, we played France away from home, and uh, I scored two. We lost three two, but I played against Philip Mexes. Remember him? Played with his big centre half for AC Milan and. I don't think he'd many tougher games than that game that day. <laughs> Get a prediction <laughs> for Saturday then. I think we won. I really fancy us. Uh, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for three one. Um, I think Ireland will score because of the way they play, but I think we're too strong. Right. Yeah, I think we'll win as well. I'd maybe no three one, but I think it'll be two nothing, and they'll probably score late on, and then we'll all be sort of hanging on to the end as we usually. <laughs> Typical are. So Scotland fashion. I'm eh? Go two one. Two one. I was going to say two one as well. Well, that's all from us. Uh, we'll see you again next week.